Welcome to Melon Training. I'm Andreas and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can insert or embed PDF files inside of Microsoft Excel. So let's dive in. Let's say you have a list of Python lessons like this one. Here I have the title of the lecture, the duration, and two columns. A linked PDF file and an embedded PDF file. We want to link and embed a PDF file for each lesson. Let's get started. Click on cell D2. The first way to link a PDF file is to click on the Insert tab and then click on Shapes. I'm selecting this rectangle shape with rounded corners. I'm writing a name for this shape. Let's type Python. Now right click on the shape and choose Link. Select the file you need to link here. Click OK, and it's linked. Great! If I click here, the file is opened. Now the second way is to direct link it. Right click on the cell D3 and choose Link. Select the file, and click OK. So in this way, it will create a hyperlink. If you click there, it will open the PDF file. Let's see the third way to link a PDF file. Go to cell D4 and click on Insert tab. To the right side of your ribbon, click the Object button. The Object dialog box appears. Click the tab Create from File and make sure that the box linked to the file is checked. Click the Browse button and then find the PDF file. So this is the file I want to link here. Click Insert. If you see a security notice from Excel, and we are sure that there is no viruses in the PDF file, click Paste Everything. Now you'll have to resize it. It will open the first page of your PDF. If you double click here, your PDF file will be opened. Let's save the workbook and close it. Now there are a few things you'll need to consider here. If I remove the PDF file from this folder or delete it and open the workbook again, you cannot open the specified file. Click the link. Same thing. Double click here and you cannot open the file because your file has been removed from the folder where you kept it. OK, now close it. And take the file back here. Open it. Update. If I click any of these links, it will start working. So if you link your PDF file into this Excel workbook, you can't use that anywhere else. OK? That means that if you take the workbook to another workstation or another PC, your link won't work. Now we are going to learn how to embed file. Click on the cell where you want to embed, for example, E2. Let's insert that by coming up to the Insert tab, and then all the way over here on the far right, it might be hidden under text, or depending on the size of your screen, it might just be there as an object. So either click on Object or first click on Text and then go to Object. And then here in the dialog, you want to choose Adobe Acrobat Document. Also, check the box, Display is Icon. If you don't display it as an icon, it will basically show kind of a screenshot of the first page of your PDF, which could be fine in some cases. But I want to conserve space and just show the icon and then click OK. This will open up a dialog to browse to the PDF, which I have right here open. And there you go. So it's inserted or embedded here. Let me just increase the size of that row so it fits nicely. You can move it around. It's kind of just like working with an image at this point. Now let's talk about the naming of that. 
If you have five different PDFs here and they're all named Adobe Acrobat document, that's not super helpful. So let's right click, then come into Adobe Document Object and Convert. And we'll be able to change the name here. So click on Change Icon, and here we'll update the name. OK and OK. And there you go. Now directly from Excel, here you could double click on this to open it up like we saw before. And that's it. That's how to embed a PDF in an Excel worksheet. When you embedded your PDF file, it will be included inside your workbook. That means if you want to share your workbook with someone else, you must embed your PDF file, not link it. Okay. But you should also consider the file size here. It will increase as you embedded more and more PDF files. If you found this valuable, check out some of the other Excel videos on this channel and be sure to hit subscribe to get notified when I upload new things. Thanks so much for watching.